Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very privileged because I live uh, within a quarter of a mile uh, of this fantastic park. Uh, and so I'm delighted to be involved uh, with the Friends of the Park, which is doing such good work. Uh, I've been coming to the park, of course, uh, as I say, for over 60 years. Um, and I didn't really know until just recently that there was such a thing as the Poet's Corner. <laughs> and in fact, there wasn't such a thing as a Poet's Corner within the last couple of years because it fell into disuse and nobody knew where it was. But the new Poet's Corner, which is up here, up there to the left, uh, is uh, a delight. Uh, it's a quiet place. I hope it won't become too crowded a place. But it is um, a wonderful place. And with this view ahead of us, uh, what more could anybody want to something within a few yards of where he lives? Uh, and I'm very grateful for all the work that all you and all the friends do to maintain this, the quality of this park. Well, I may not have known about uh, the park. I did know about Mr. Thompson as a poet, uh, though I happened to get a bit confused because, of course, there's another Thompson who was a 19th century poet, and then the, I know he... Thompson wrote the seasons, uh, and then I wondered whether that was the words for the or Haydn's oratorio, but it wasn't. But there is, in fact, something that every person here knows absolutely backwards of his verse. And just in case you don't know what it is, it's Rule Britannia. <laughs> he wrote Rule Britannia. He also wrote a many other th number of other things which have entered into our language. I. There used to be a phrase that, uh, uh, for, for mock gentility and politeness, which you should say at the end of a meal, uh, which was, uh, thank you, I've had an elegant sufficiency. And an elegant sufficiency is a phrase uh, used by Mr. Thompson. So uh, he's not unknown, and he, would, he was much, much better known in his time. And surprising though it may seem, uh, he in fact has a monument in Westminster Abbey, next to Shakespeare. Think of that. So thank you, Thompson, and the seasons. And, and thank you, too, for coming this afternoon. Uh, the friends uh, do what they can to help this wonderful park, which is marvelously administered, in my view. It is a miracle that you can drive through the park, it seems to me, or even walk through the park and see the city of London, those strange towers just over there. Astonishing that we have this fantastic facility uh, alongside us. So uh, I'm just here to say, first of all, thank you to all our speakers. Thank you for coming. And thank you to the friends for doing what they do do so effectively uh, for this wonderful facility that so many of us treasure. Thank you.